It was just amazing, Solomon. Thank you. Oh uh, man, it's a pleasure to be here in Madrid playing on this wonderful rooftop and uh, thank you so much for having me. It's I think it's one of the best places in Madrid to play. It's, we we could see all the all this the city. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, just all the nature in the background and then yeah. you have the buildings on the other side. I mean, yeah. I, I don't think I've been this high up in Madrid before. What do you prefer the the city scene or or, or, the, or the nature in the other in the other side? Well, I'm from New York City, so I'm used to you know all the buildings and the concrete. So I appreciate the nature sometimes, actually. I've got one question because all the people that was around here when you played was like, oh my, what what's happening right now? Why? When do you start playing the guitar? Well, my parents got me guitar lessons at the age of six, and then. After a couple of lessons and after a couple of days, I started playing professionally, <laughs> you know. But at 13, started playing around New York City at places like the Cotton Club and the Lennox Lounge. And right after high school, started touring in Europe. And then uh, now I'm working with this great producer named Kirkiano, and we're doing some tours in France and got signed to the mascot label. But had a lot of good mentors and teachers growing up as a kid and not really a college or school, but just people in my life that took the time to show me music and Just some of the clubs in New York that aren't open and around anymore that closed down. But, you know, I was there to be around those great masters and keeping on the tradition of blues and rock and roll. What was first, the guitar or the voice? Guitar first, but vocals complement. It's always a struggle to see which one's better. And then we have the perfect mix, isn't it? Well, you know, it's nice when you can back yourself up and when you got to tell the guitar player to be quiet. You know, I'm the guitar player, so... I've got one question because it's quite strange to to watch you or to listen to you here in in Spain because you're from New York as you said. What do you think about Spain's people in concerts and all that stuff? Because you just come here twice to Europe twice a year more or less, isn't it? Yeah. Well, uh, one of my favorite things about coming over to Spain is the amount of dancing that happens at the concerts. A lot of times, you know, sometimes in New York, people are always on their phones or they're watching the football game, which is cool too. But at every show, you know, everybody's up, always up on their seats and very enthusiastic. But uh, it's always a lot of fun to play out here. We were, uh, we played in Segovia and um, we were in Madrid and last year we did Barcelona. And last night we played at Clamares, which is a very cool club. We have a cool dance floor. You, you know about it? Yeah, of course I know about it. And, and, and I used to know about Maite, that it's right there that told Talk to me a lot about Clamores, you know? Yeah, but you know, like shows like that, it's very fun and uh, exciting always to come back. When are you going to come back? Because you haven't go out and we are missing you right now. Uh, well, the new album uh, released on Mascot Records should be released uh, this upcoming year and should be coming back. Um, well, try to give it some space, you know, work on some new material and the songs. But uh, you can go to my website, kingsolomonhicks.com or Facebook or Instagram and I always post about the sh uh, show dates and on the tour. That's a great spam, you know. <laughs> and what could you tell us about that new album that is going to be released in some months? Well, I, I don't want to give too much stuff away, but uh, the crowd looks quite young. We have Roger Earl from uh, the band Fog Hat and um, a few other special guests, uh, the people from Soul Live, uh, Neil Evans and uh, Eric Krasno was featured on a couple of songs. And uh, it's real. It's not traditional blues as what you would expect but it's my take in, uh, on how I view blues and just music in general and uh, just it's from the streets of New York City I think it looks it, oh, I think it looks quite good so we'll see, we'll li we will listen to it thank you and enjoy in, in Spain thank you so much for having me Javi and yeah. seeing you around thank you <laughs>